Hey guys, the long-awaited release of the Migaku add-on series for Anki 2.1.35 is finally upon us. Sorry it took so long to get these add-ons in a release-ready state. But just know that the Migaku team and I have been working hard the whole time, working to add value to the entire Migaku community. Before I show you a bit of what each add-on has to offer, I'd like to just first tell you what today's release contains. Today we're releasing the Migaku add-on series for Anki 2.1.35 and beginning the next Migaku development cycle. Namely, today we're releasing updated versions of Migaku Japanese, Migaku Chinese, Migaku Dictionary, Migaku Editor, and Migaku Retirement. And a special note about the Migaku Editor add-on. There have been many fixes added to it besides just support for Anki 2.1.35. So if you've previously encountered issues with it and therefore haven't been using it, I highly suggest you try out the new version as all known issues should be fixed now. Also, about the Migaku Vacation add-on, its public release will be coming around the holidays along with a couple other surprises for you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss these special holiday announcements. I know this year has been rough, so I hope that we at Migaku will be able to add at least a little bit of holiday cheer to your lives this holiday season. Anyways, along with the 2.1.35 releases, we're also releasing what should be the final updates for the 2.1.22 and 2.3 versions of the add-ons. So unless some major functionality breaking bugs are found in them, the Migaku add-on series will no longer be updated for that version of Anki. New fixes and features will only be coming to the new 2.1.35 versions of the add-ons from here out. So make sure you update to the new 2.1.35 versions if you want to make sure you continue to get access to new updates. Anyways, let me just show you a small fraction of what these add-ons can do. Generate readings and audio and color words according to their pitch accent with a single click. Click a word to hear its pronunciation. Generate this information for thousands of cards in just a few seconds. Click once to generate readings and color your words according to their tones. Generate the traditional or simplified variant of any sentence. Generate this information for many cards in just a couple seconds. It has support for Cantonese, Bobomofo, and Pinyin. Can be used with any language. Automatically deconjugates words for you. Use the audio dictionary to find audio for a word. English. Use the Google Images Dictionary to find an image. Add definitions, images, and audio to your cards as you study them.
辩论，辩论。科威特，科威特Retiring interval for any deck of cards. The add-on will automatically suspend and remove those cards to a retirement deck once that interval is reached. The idea is that if you're likely to see what you've learned in that card in real life within the length of the interval of that flashcard, then there's no reason to continue studying it in Anki. Real life becomes the SRS at that point. Double click any field to edit it as you study. Open the persistent editor window while reviewing and edit a card whenever you need to. Resize images by clicking and dragging. So that pretty much does it for today's video guys. Trust me when I say it, these add-ons can do a whole lot more than I just showed you. So sometime in the future I will try to make a more in-depth video highlight for each of them. But for now, the team and I really hope that these new releases add value to you and your studies. If you'd like to see a short video showing you how to install these add-ons, or how to update from the Migaku add-ons for Anki 2.1.22 or 2.3 to the new ones for Anki 2.1.35, then you can find a link to that video in the description and pinned comment of this video. However, please note that this short video is not a guide video and does not cover how to actually use these add-ons but simply their installation and updating from a previous version. We are actually working on updated guides for the Migaku add-ons though and they should be coming really soon but in the meantime I've linked the downloadable versions of their legacy guides in the description and on their Anki web pages. These legacy guides are still 100% usable and cover almost every aspect of the add-ons so please use those until we get the new guides completed and out to you. Along with these add-ons, we at Migaku are constantly working to improve the Immerse with Migaku browser extension, which is an extension that already allows you to make instant flashcards containing audio in a screenshot from any video on Netflix and YouTube or any video files you may have locally on your computer. Along with this, it also allows for instant card creation from any of your favorite websites as well. Not to mention reading Japanese with furigana and pitch accent information and keeping track of your known words. So if you'd like to gain access to the Immerse with Migaku browser extension right now and also gain access to the official Migaku Discord community, which is where we decide with community participation the direction we take Migaku in, then please consider supporting Migaku on Patreon. Migaku is still in its infancy and we certainly have a long way to go. So the team and I want to thank each and every one of you for supporting what we do. It means so much and we couldn't do what we do without your support, so thanks again. If you can't afford to support Migaku financially but would still like a chance to try out our early releases of software or to join the official Migaku Discord community, then please subscribe to the channel and leave a like and comment on this video for your chance to win free visiting VIP access. If you can, please leave your Discord ID or Twitter handle at the beginning of your comment so that it's easy for me to contact you and let you know if you've won. We choose 15 people at the end of every month to take a sneak peek at the community we're building, and that number goes up every time a Patreon milestone is reached. Well, that's it for today. I hope we were able to add value to you with these new releases. See ya!